Hey Chris, this is Bobby. I've created a video for you on what I found to help you maximize your revenue. I'm going to walk you through three things that Google looks at when ranking web websites. When um, your website ranks, it'll be among the first that potential clients see when searching for your services. So if by the end of this video you've liked what you've seen, shoot me a message and we can chat. Or if at the end you simply want to take advantage of this free action plan to do on your own, well, that works for me too. All I ask is that you provide me with some feedback on how you think I can do to make this video better. So here's your site. One thing that I'd like to see is for you to have direct um, contact information up here, even like an address, phone number, Anywhere on this site would be good too. I'm gonna first bring you to Google search and I to show you where I've searched T-shirts Dallas. You see right here in my little app that I have that it searched 480 times a month. This first area that we have right here is called the Google Map Pack or the Google Maps. And I'm looking at the top three right here and you're not there. So that's a lot of sales that you're missing out on by not being there. We see that your top competitor here is T-Shirt Dallas. Google ranks this section here by the number of citations you have. A citation is your business's name, address, and phone number, or NAP. And to be eligible for this spot right here, Google needs to know your business map. So I know you're asking, Bobby, hey, how do I actually rank in maps besides just putting my information out there? Well, I, I'm bringing you up to another site that I use called WhiteSpark. So right here you can see your competition, Dallas T-shirts has or Dallas t-shirt shop has 13 maps whenever I find yours right here it shows that you have two but that's nothing to worry about if we click right here on this number it'll give us a list of all the directories that they're using um, to add their name and their information on other directories are yellow pages white book and Yelp. You can also create a Facebook business page and um, you can use your citation there. The next thing I want to show you is the Google organic section. It's this section right here that's right below the maps. Google ranks websites organically that have lots of content. You need at least 1,000 words on your home page for it to be optimized. I use a word count app and found that your home page has 103 words. And um, whenever I looked up your top competitor, Bullzerk, I found that they have 337 words on their website. So, uh, well, on their home page. Along with content, Google also ranks sites with keywords. So I have another app that I use right here. It's called Eras. I pay about $400 a month for it. Right here, notice that your website has one organic keyword. Do you wanna know what it is? I looked it up and it's Felicia Donald. So over there, I noticed that the um, it's searched 50 times a month, but that's nationwide, so it's not even necessarily here in Dallas, and that doesn't mean that um, people who search it are going to see your site. The keyword, keyword difficulty on that is about a two, so that's easy to rank, but it's not very optimal for people who are searching t-shirts in the Dallas area. So I want to open... Um, your competitor's site. Right here you see that they have 5,900 organic keywords and we can add their high-ranking buyer intent keywords to your site by clicking on here and then it'll give us a list of all of their organic keywords. So what I did earlier whenever I text you was I searched their highest key ranking keyword the highest ranking keyword and I found that the BLM shop was the number one for that particular keyword and so whenever I opened up the BLM page on Arifs I found that 
Their high-ranking keyword, which was Black Lives Matter shirt, has 47,000 searches in a month, and it's low-ranking um, keyword search, um, low-ranking keyword difficulty of 17. So we can totally use that for our advantage. Now, the third thing I want to cover are backlinks or link juice. So backlinks give your site authority along with keyword rich content. In order to be ranked here, you'll need to have backlinks reference in your site. Backlinks are when a link to your site is listed on another company's page. When this happens, that page gives your site more authority in Google's eyes. It's almost like a popularity contest, but there's more to it than just that the backlinks you obtain, they work more effectively when you have a relative site linking back to you. So for for example, if you have a fashion design site link into you, that would be more effective than, say, a restaurant site link into you because you don't sell food for a living. So here we look at your backlinks and we see that there's no data available. So that basically means that you have a new site and there's not any backlinks um, linking to you. So whenever we open your competition site, we notice right here that they have 584 backlinks that are working for them and their organic traffic, their daily organic traffic, not daily, I'm sorry, their monthly organic traffic is 2,500 searches per month. I'm going to go back to yours and show you that your organic traffic is exactly zero. So that means you have this beautiful site, but nobody is looking for it. Nobody is finding it anywhere online. But we can completely change that with some time. Um, give me about a month, and then this number will definitely go up. So I'm going to take you back to the competitor's website. Whenever we click right here on backlinks, it's going to give us a link of all of the sites that are working for them. And we can definitely go to those sites and add your information on there. In closing, we went over content, citations, backlinks, or link juice. And if you implement these strategies today, today you can start to aim to be number one across Google. Um, so now you have two options. You can take this information that I provided you today and take the time to do this all on your own. Or, of course, if you want the most effective route and you want to save yourself time, you can give me a call. You have my number. It, um, and either way, I look forward to hearing from you. And I'm excited about your business growth. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.